Ten thirty-five here at WILK. We are continuing the conversation. We got some uh, wrestling coming up at the college level, uh, but first, let's talk some women's soccer. John McNichol, the head coach at Wilkes, joins us this morning. Good morning, John. Hey, John. Thanks for having me. Oh, we appreciate you joining us. You're uh, you're getting geared up, ready to go. Uh, when are you guys hitting the field there, at Wilkes? Absolutely. Uh, two weeks from today, uh, we start our first practice at eight a.m. with our fitness test, and then uh, get a light session in after that, and. Uh, get a second session in later in the day, so we're pretty excited. We're we're kind of in the stretch run here of that that time where you know there's a lot of excitement building up for the season, and can't wait to get the whole group back on campus together next Friday for moving to or in two Fridays from now on moving day. Freshmen coming in. Let's talk about uh, some key areas you wanted to hit, and if you feel like you got them. Yeah, we're really really excited. We have a, a great group coming back. We're going to have a pretty large roster this year. We have 33 players on the team. Uh, 11 first-year freshmen and then two transfer students as well. Uh, we're really excited about the depth of our team and what we were able to bring in through our recruiting efforts. And um, the biggest thing is just going to be the constant competition that we're going to have every day at training. Uh, it's going to make us better top to bottom. Uh, we were able to bring in some some quality that, that's really going to help us. We have a couple players that we're you know hoping are going to be able to step in and, and play some big minutes for us, and then a couple others that we know that hey they're going to just continue to get better each and every day and. By the end of the year, hopefully we're playing a little bit late in November. Everybody's playing a big role in what we're doing. As you get another year under your belt and you evaluate the MAC, uh, what kind of what kind of matchups uh, you are hoping for? What kind of talent do you have to use to kind of match up against everybody? And you had a lot of success again last year. Yeah, I mean it's it's an exciting time in the MAC, uh, especially with the realignment. You know, bringing in Steven Tech uh, this year. You know, they're a top twenty-five team along with. You know, um, Ms. Recordia, who, who's been fantastic, they're constantly in the top 25, lost in the Elite Eight last year. Um, we're going to play between our two in-conference teams that were in the NCAA tournament and six non-conference teams that played in the tournament last year. We play a pretty difficult schedule, and that's, that's to prepare us for the MAC. There's really not one team in our conference that you can't show up for and not be ready for it, or, or they're going to make you pay. So, you know, that's, that's why having that depth is so important. Last year we really... Um, struggled with the injury bug a little bit throughout the year. I, I don't think we really got to play our, our our top 11 for more than about 40 minutes um, in our first game before we had a, a season-ending injury to one of our, our top players. So, you know, the biggest thing is just trying to stay healthy. Um, there's a lot of great teams in the MAC, obviously. You know, with Stevens and, and, and Misericordia, it makes it difficult, but it's exciting because it means we're going to play a top schedule and you know, it's something that every day you get challenged and, and you get better because of that. Well, we look forward to it and that new facility there at Wilkes. That'll be pretty exciting for you and, and the ladies uh, with the women's soccer program. John, uh, wish you the best. Good luck in a couple of weeks, and thanks for checking in today. No problem. Thanks a lot for having me, John. You got it. John McNichol, the head coach of Wilkes University, the women's soccer program, brand-new facility, baseball and soccer, lacrosse, all going to happen there.